Hi guys, I am so excited to be doing this review for you. I've been thinking about it for over a month now. I finally got home early, so I was like, oh my gosh, I get to do the review. And the review is about dry shampoo. And I use this for quite a while now, the dry shampoo that is. So these are all the ones that I'm going to be talking about. So there's four different ones and I like the majority of them, but there's specific things I wanted to talk about with each of them. So, and I also have a cheat sheet because I wrote about it because I was scared that I was going to forget. So. The different things I'm going to be addressing are the price, the packaging, the smell, um, the amount in the container I might talk about but I'm not really sure, um, and if it was worth it. So slash if I was going to repurchase it. So the first one I'm going to talk about is let's say kind of the second one I've ever tried in my life. Um, the first one I've ever tried in my entire life was in 2011 or 2012, which is like five years ago. Just kidding, I can't do math. 2011 is 2015, so it's four years ago. Um, and I was never introduced to dry shampoo then. I didn't even know what it was when I had it. Because it was a gift in like a gift bag. And I was like, what is this thing? So I can't talk about that just because, first of all, I can't remember the brand. I think it might be Bliss, but I'm not even sure. Second of all, it was so long ago, I can't even review it. So anyways, this is my second dry shampoo ever. And this is Dove. And it looks like this. So I wanted to try this just because I wanted to see what it was like again and how my hair would react to the certain dry shampoo. So first of all, the price of this, this is a drugstore brand, so it's affordable. I would say all of these are quite affordable. I would say this is the most affordable compared to all the one I'm going to review. The only one I don't know the price of is Herbal Essence, which I will look up for you guys. So this should be affordable. It is considered a $1 sign for me. And the packaging, I like it because it's quite simple. I don't really have anything against it. And so I would probably rate this a 4 out of 5 for packaging just because there's nothing really wrong with it, but I don't love it. There's some packaging that you're like, oh my gosh, I just like looking at it. <laughs> and this one, I'm like, okay, I mean, it's nothing big. And the scent of this one, I gotta say, I like all of the scents because they all smell quite fresh and that's the scent that I like. So I do like this scent, it's quite fresh. And the last thing is how long did it last, the purchase and the use. So for me, this is my least favorite one. Um, I generally like Dove everything. I like the Dove shampoo, I like the Dove everything. What's the other thing? Body wash. The bar body wash because they generally smell quite good. So this is the reason why I think that this one smells good. But I do not like the way it sprayed. It was, how do you say it? Um, not very, not consistent, but I just didn't like the way it sprayed. So I didn't like the application of it. I would say it's okay. Like I don't think it's bad. Some people like it, but for me personally, if I had to go a day without washing my hair and having to sleep in my hair, I don't think I would use this. I probably would only use it for volume, which is what I did in the end. But, okay, let's be serious. When you don't wash your hair and you're putting more product in your hair for it to smell good, it's there's just more stuff in your hair, so it's just going to get dirtier. So it's not going to get clean, necessarily. You just have more chemicals in your hair that does other things to your hair that makes it feel clean and it makes it smell good. So anyways, I would not, I probably shower after using it and I will only use it for styling and volume after having used this. Will I repurchase this? No, because I'm gonna talk about the other products that I like. So that's all for this one. And this is a no for repurchase, no for recommendation, only because 
I don't like it on my hair. I could talk about my hair later on, but I just wanted to review it first. So for me, this is a no for repurchasing. Maybe like three years later when I forget how I feel about it, I might repurchase it just because I like Dove. Anyways, so the second one I'm going to talk about is probably this one. This is Cups, and I don't like the packaging at all. Um, it's funny because I have two of this because it was on sale. Even though it was on sale, it was more expensive than the Dove one. But maybe that's because where I bought it, I can look up all the prices. And I think all my price is free from Target and Ulta. Well, it's kind of strange because Target is cheaper than Ulta even though it's the same product. We'll see. All the prices I will link probably will be from the same store. So I think I would use... Ulta or CVS because they would have all of these brands. Yep. Okay, so back to this one. I don't like the container. It just looks funky. Like, what is this? <laughs> but I gotta say, it stands out so it's easy to find. So I don't like the way the packaging of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. So the price of it I talked about is quite expensive. But if you bought it on sale, it's affordable. So it depends on when you buy it, really. And the smell of it, I do like the smell. At first, I thought I liked this one better, but then I took it camping. So, you know, when you go camping, you hear it smells really bad because of the smoke, especially if you're standing in the smoke. I was kind of the cooker for one of my camping trip, and I smell horrible, like charcoal. And even after I got home and I showered, I, my hair still smells like smoke. It's crazy. Anyways, that's aside from the fact. I didn't really like this because I used it on this camping trip and I didn't feel like it was clean for that much longer. I felt like it only helped the smell a little bit. And, you know, even though given the fact smoke smells quite strong and it lingers, um, that scent was just really, really, really strong. So I thought, okay, maybe this product isn't that good, or maybe we can't really say that just because this was the only dry shampoo I used on my camping trip. So anyhow, I used a different one and the other one were so much better, which I'll talk about next. So I would not repurchase this just because I felt like it didn't keep my hair clean for that long. And I know this because I compare it to the other dry shampoo. So this I would not repurchase just because, first of all, the price is high. Second of all, the packaging is not my favorite. And third of all, it doesn't really do what I want it to do, which is basically have my hair feel clean even though it's not clean. So, yep, don't like this that much. But I think I do like it better than the Dove. I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of the price and the look. And even though it's better than the Dove, yeah, the Dove, I would purchase the one that I like the best. So no to repurchase, no to recommend it. I would have recommend to other hair though because you don't know what type of hair you have. You may have a different type of hair that is different than my hair and it may work better for you. So I will always say try it because it's not that bad the price range isn't that steep it's just i prefer to get a different one so yeah and i would say there's a lot in this one this is 5.3 ounces the dove is five ounces they're all relatively the same size the dry shampoo but this one feels like it has a lot and i'll talk about the reason why i want to talk about that is because i experienced this other dry shampoo and I felt like I used it a couple of times and then it was gone. So my next one, which is my favorite of all time, I love this one. At first I was like, hmm, do I really like this one? Um, but I really, really do on all surfaces. So gotta stop talking about something you guys can't see, which is this one. And I really like this one. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. And I got the original clean and classic because, you know, that's the smell that I like, which is clean and fresh. Um, there was a lot of other color for other different types of hair. Like, they had a blonde one, they had a brunette one, I think, but I'm not really sure. They have like a different kind of spray because usually, you know, when you spray it, it's always like white. 
so you see the whiteness in your hair if you don't like shampoo with a dry shampoo. Um, I love this one so much. I think this is the most expensive one out of all of them. And when I say most expensive, they're all under $10. They're just a little bit more expensive than the other ones. I super, super love this one. Okay, why did you say? This was the other one that I went... <laughs> this is the other one that I brought for my camping trip. And this is a different camping trip. Granted... That camping trip was two days, not one night. The other one was one night. Um, and after I used this, I felt like my hair was clean and I was so happy because I was thinking, well, you never know, maybe it doesn't really do anything. And it did, it made, me, it made my hair feel clean, it made my hair feel fresh, it made my hair just felt like I kind of shampoo, but not really because I know I didn't shampoo. It's just, it felt, it didn't feel oily. It didn't feel gross, which is basically what your hair feels like after you go camping. Um, so anyways, I really, 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 really like this one. Um, what's another reason why? So on a daily basis, if I were to use this on a day, if I had, if like, let's be fair to all the other ones, if I were to go to bed without showering, not showering, but without showering my hair, I would be able to use this one because I feel like my hair was clean. So this is another reason why it's my favorite. I thought there was more. I felt like it did everything that I want a dry shampoo to do. I want my hair to feel clean. I don't want it to feel like there's a whole ton of product in my head. I want it to feel light and airy, which is kind of like what my hair kind of feels like. I'm not bragging. I'm just trying to tell you what my hair feels like. It feels like my hair has been showered. It also smells better, and I love the way it sprays. It matters. So the way that this comes out is just like mist everywhere. So I really like that. Some of the other one, you feel like it's more concentrated. That's what how you explain it. So like certain dots of the hair when it's spraying out, I felt like some of the other ones were more concentrated, therefore it's not distribu distributed evenly. But this one, it's like a whole bunch of mist and it was so easy to rub in my hair and get volume like automatically, automatically. So that's the reason why I super, 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 super love this one. The packaging, I mean, it's colorful. I don't like the sticker, but this one says voted, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, voted favorite, number one favorite dry shampoo and I can see why now because it's my favorite shampoo. When I first saw it, I was kind of biased. I was like, Voted number one. Really, is that true? Because sometimes product, when they say that, it's not really true. So anyways, I really love it. So I, I kind of understand the sticker. This is my favorite one. My favorite, favorite, favorite one. It's affordable. It's under $10. So, yep. And would I repurchase it? Yes, I would repurchase it because I love it. So, yeah, I would buy it again. I'm running out of this. So, yeah, but I didn't run out yet. This is... 6.73 fluid ounces, which is more than the other one, and the bottle is skinnier. How is that possible? This one has more than all the other one. How is that possible? It's like skinnier. It's skinnier. How? I don't understand. It's skinnier. Oh, I guess it's slightly taller, huh? Is it taller than the other one? This one's practically the same size, but yeah, I don't know. This one has more product apparently, or so it claims, so yeah. And my fourth one, just kidding, I actually have five. I forgot about so the next one I'm going to talk about is the Herbal Essence, and it's this one right here. And I know this looks like a really small container, and how can she review this when it's just a small container? Such a small container. I used this is like my third one, and I didn't well, I did buy it, but it was one of those free things that come with your shampoo. So I had three of this, I was able to review it just because this is my third one. This one, when I first got it, I used it right after the Dove one and I super love this one after this one because it is so much more better stuff than the Dove one. Um, the packaging, I like this packaging. I don't know why. It's also white, but I think because there's green on it that I really like this packaging. And the feeling is matte, the bottle is matte. So to me, it's pretty cool. I don't know, I like looking at it. And this one, 
the price, I don't know the price of it, but I will look it up because they were all connected to my shampoo. But, so, the scent of this I really like. All the dry shampoo relatively smells good. I don't have any complaint because none of them had a floral scent and that's the only scent that I typically don't like. So anyways, the amount in the container, this is the one that I was talking about. I used three of this. One of the bottle I only got to use three times. This one I used like at least seven times already. At least seven times already. So I felt like, hmm, I'm using three different bottles. One bottle like kind of ran out and another bottle, I don't know. So that would make me skeptical, <laughs> skeptical of buying a real bottle just because what is it, what happened if it's faulty? So I don't know. So yeah, I do like it though. I like the smell. I really liked it after it gave me hope for dry shampoo. That's why I end up buying or purchasing all the rest of the other shampoo to try. Hey, they might be good. I don't know. They're all different. So yeah, the price of it, don't know. Um, the uses and would I repurchase it? I'm only skeptical just because all three different bottles have like different lifespan. So I don't know if I, I'm thinking it's a no because I really like the Batiste one. But I wanted to show you guys this one and I like this one better than the Dove. So I'm gonna rank it all the end supposedly. So the Dove is last, this is second to last, although it's quite good still. I can't decide if I like this one or this one better. This one might win just because I like the packaging. I don't know, I can't decide. They might be tied, they're tied, so. Yeah, the last one I'm going to talk about is considered a high-end product, kind of, not really, kind of. It's just because it's not in the range, price range of the drugstore brand. So that's this one here, and you can already see that I bought it on sale. So this one, it says it's $25, and this one is 5 ounces. That's so funny, it's five ounce and look how short it is compared to the other ones. It's five ounce, it's heavy though, so I believe it. Um, and this is the Macadamia Natural Oil. A lot of people like their other products. Oh, I have a oil products of theirs. I kinda like it, I'm not gonna talk about it. But anyways, so this one is 625, which is around the same price range as the other ones, the other drugstore dry shampoo, the one on sale. But if it's originally $25 at Ulta, that is like times three more than all the other ones, so definitely not worth it. But I love this packaging, but all of the packaging for the macadamia is the same. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure some people wouldn't care about packaging, but I just want to address it. So the price, way out of it people's budget, I mean, unless you want to spend $25 and it's okay, then that's up to you. But for me, I was like, okay, let's try it. It might be good, I don't know, maybe I'm missing out on what other things it can do, the dry shampoo. I don't like it. I think it's okay. I think this is probably the best smelling one, kinda in a different scent. Um, scents, scents, not scents. Um, and I never lean towards this one. I never want it because, I don't know, I gotta try a different way of using it, like just maybe just a little bit, but when I spray it on, I just feel like, I feel like my hair isn't clean. I feel like my hair has a lot of chemicals in it. Like, I feel as if I don't wanna put it in my hair. <laughs> So I was like, man, this is really expensive and I'm paying a lot for it and I just, I want it, it doesn't do what I want it to do. So usually with dry shampoo, if you always want to try it, it's good. But to like use it all up, I think it's always good for your hair to use it as a styling product to give it more volume. So if you ever don't like any of your shampoo, you should, you know, use it for volumizing unless you don't have that problem and they don't want to do that. But yeah, so, and this is way too expensive. I would not repurchase it mm, even if it's on sale. Pr 
probably even if it's on sale because I'm not gonna use it. I don't know. So yeah, so I had to rank everything. This is number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Sorry, Dove. I like all your other products. Don't be mad. Um, so yeah, that's all. So you guys can close out the window if you like. But now I'm gonna talk about my hair and what my hair is like. Because Sure, you can consider my review and what I thought about it, but it may not apply to you if you don't have the same kind of hair as me. Like, if you don't have the same texture, if you don't have the same thickness, if you don't have uh, a lot of stuff. So, my hair is Asian hair because I'm Asian, and a lot of people, I'm going to tell you what other people have told me that they think is really light and like I don't have a lot of hair so therefore I don't have a lot of volume um, and it's more on the oily side so it has a lot of natural oils because um, some people's hair can be more dry on the dry end and that would affect that would affect which kind of dress shampoo you like so let's say if your hair was more on the dry side, you might like this one because since my hair is already full of natural oils, um, I wouldn't want more oils because then it just feels funny, right? So if your hair is on the oily side, this you may like better. But for me, no, just because that's just not how my hair is like. I really have very thin, thin hair. So yeah. What else about it? And it's been colored, so, you know, slightly damaged. Um, and I think how much hair you have also affects it just because thinking about, thinking about how the chemical absorbs, how you, like, really shampoo it in. Um, I really like this one because it's just so easy to shampoo in. Whereas, like, this one, I have to try it a lot harder to distribute all the product and shampoo my hair it in, so I feel like it's wasting more time. Um, but yeah, I hope that it helps you guys. I love all these stuff, I wanna hug them all. I like it because it helps me get volume in my hair, because my hair can go relatively flat and straight. It's really like straight, so if you have that problem or you have the same kind of texture, and everything, you know, the same kind of hair as me, you should try like the one, this one, because yeah. But I think people should always try other ones too, just because you may spray it differently than me, you may shampoo it on differently, your hair, I don't know, I don't know, you just should always try. Yeah, so anyways, that is all, I hope that was helpful to you guys, hopefully, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!